Hello everybody, Harkin over here getting back some more Let's Play Trails in the Sky second chapter. When last we left off, we uh, We went to the top of the tower to take the picture. We'll have Dorothy take the picture, return that quest in. And we also learned that the mysterious flying white ghost shadow man dancing guy was constantly being spotted at the Genesis Royal Academy. Headed towards the Tennis Royal Academy from all three accounts. So now, this time, we are going to go explore that newfound, newfound bit of information. <laughs> and we also learned how to fish. And the game to a rematch. Because he's a bro. Boss, he's a bro. If I didn't know who he actually was, I would have to say he's a common police guard. Take that! Piece of cake! Regardless of everything we've seen from him thus far. as hell. on the scene. Olivier is on the case. So this is the Royal Academy, full of budding flowers, trembling with potential, a dude with the passion and moisture of sweat and youthful tears. Uh, ah, a lovely place. Oh wow, I see like 10 pictures I want to take already. I'm going to go through so much film. Uh, just a reminder, we're here to investigate the ghost mess. Keep your heads in the game, thanks. This kind of makes me all nostalgic though. I mean, we were only here a week, but hey, that just goes to show how important the time you spent with your friend was. Did something for the Academy play, right? Oh, I heard about that from Niall. Estelle was the knight and Joshua was a princess, right? Oh, I wish I could have gotten some pictures. Wait, what? Is this true? Ah, what a tragedy that I should miss Joshua at his most graceful delivery. We simply must find him and have him wear such splendor again. And all of my memories are ruined forever. Changing gears, though, Major Teresa said the test period would be over soon. I guess we're here a little too early, though. Yo, my bro, Sieg. Sieg! Scree, scree, scree! <laughs> I have no idea what you're saying, but you're welcoming me, right? How have you been, Sieg? Yeah. Estelle! Oh! The crew! Chloe! <laughs> been a while, huh? It has. Um, I... I... Whoa, what's wrong, Chloe? I'm sorry. I'm so, so sorry. You've suffered so much and I, I can't do anything. I can't do anything to help my friends. I'm such a wretch. No, Chloe, you are like amazeballs awesome sauce. Hey, hey, don't say that. I'm glad you care so much. I'm sure Josh would feel the same way. I am just happy to see you again. I, me too. I think ADLs we were able to meet again. Good grief. You two are dramatic even off the stage. Hey, Estelle, I think we saw each other last at the birthday celebrations, right? Hi, Jill. Yeah, that's about right. And Hans, too. Hello. Hi, Estelle. Everyone. I'd love to chat, but I think we need to put that aside for a minute. You 
guys are here on bracer business, right? Jean wants to see you. We'll show you the way. Yes, I see. So you suspect this white shadow was originating from the Academy grounds? Yes, sir. It seems like it is. So the guild would like permission to investigate the inside of the Academy. You cool if we have a look around and ask the students some questions? Certainly. Given the circumstances, I would ask you to investigate in truth. Well, I have little idea what this white shadow could be. If it is affecting the election, we cannot simply sit idle and let it be. Thanks, sir. So, um, you mentioned not knowing what the white shadow might be. Alas, no. No one's reported anything of the sort to me. Jill, has anyone come to the student council about such a thing? Mm, no, not a peep. It was exam crunch time, though. Nobody really had time to come say so much as hi to us anyway. I see, that would make sense. Huh? Uh, I think I'm lost. Here at the Royal Academy, there are periodic exams which determine if you proceed to the next grade. <laughs> Even if the students saw something, they might just choose to ignore it and focus on studying. I have to admit, I'd probably be one of them. I know I'd rather get one more formula in my head than focus on something that might just be my student's pride mind playing tricks on me. Whoa, are the exams really that intense? Wow, they work these students to the bone. But as of today, the exams are done. The school works in videos. And people are going to be a lot more relaxed. If people were going to start talking about ghost stories, today's the day for it. There is a converse to this. If rumors spread too far, it will be hard to find the truth. If you wish to hear the stories from the witnesses themselves, we must act today. Well then, you may begin your investigation immediately. Jill, Hans, Zoe, I expect you to give them your full support. Yes, sir. Understood, sir. So, first off, if we're investigating something, we need a headquarters. Someone might come to the student council with information, so you can use our meeting. That'll be perfect. Let's go. Okay, let's divide up the jobs. Agnes and I will go question the teachers. They should be in the faculty lounge right now. After that, we'll hunt down the rest of the staff and interrogate them, too. Easy enough. Hans will check the records in the reference room to see if anything like this has happened around here before. Understood. Estelle and Chloe will be in charge of interviewing students. Okay. We'll do our best. Dorothy, Olivier, you two, or investigate the grounds as you see fit. I'll trust your, uh, your artist's intuition to find something. <laughs> Leave it to me. I'll do my best. Okay, so, everyone, try and finish up your investigations by nightfall and return here. Alright, fall out! Alright, so we gotta go running around talking to everybody. She really is good at this, huh? I noticed it during the school festival, too. She can be pretty silly at times, but I guess she leads the student council for a reason. <laughs> well, she does want to become a politician. Kind of like Mayor Maybell of Boats. She was really frustrated when the election began. She kept going on about how she could have been a candidate if she were 10 years older. Uh, well, I guess she could, yeah. Oh yeah, I was wondering, how much do Jill and Hans know about you, Chloe? I know you mentioned once they nicknamed you. <laughs> yes, they did. They essentially know everything. They saw through my disguise about halfway into my first year here. Aside from then, only the Dean knows my true identity. That makes sense, I guess. They do seem pretty comfortable hanging out with you, even though they know your important royal stuff. Yes, just like you, Estelle. You are the best friends I have. <laughs> Come on, you're embarrassing me here. Anyhow, let's go find some students to interrogate. Did you see anything weird during the test period? It should be good enough without raising suspicion, right? Yes, that should keep rumors from spreading, I think. Remember, though, some of the students may be back in their dorm doors already. Good point. We'll look there, too. Off, off we go, a question, and then... Oh, boy. Um, got a sec? Huh? Do you need something? Yeah, I got a question for you. Estelle explained that they were looking into any strange events that might have happened during the exam period. A strange event during the exam period? Oh, like what? That sounds fascinating. Did something happen? You're entirely too excited about this, you know. It probably means she doesn't know anything. Guess we gotta go somewhere else. So, what happened? That name, Monica, is not... That's spelled in a way. Hey, come on, tell me! Can't do it. You're the evil. Hey, you two. How goes the questioning? Well, we just started, so we don't have much yet. Have you had any luck with the records? Not yet, but there aren't many records that could be relevant, so this shouldn't take long. Hey, I know you're busy, but can I take a minute of your time? Uh, sure. Let me guess. This is about Joshua, right? Yeah. I haven't heard all the details, but he's gone missing, right? He, uh, has. But don't worry. It's something.
something he did on his own. So it's basically like him running away from home. I wonder. I know I only spent a week or so with him, but... Well, we really got along. Got to know each other. We talked about a whole lot of things. He just could not shut up about his life after he came to live with you, still. Er, really? That's so embarrassing. I was such a tomboy. Er, I mean, I guess that's still true, but... Well, I heard a lot of heartwarming stories, I'll say that much. The thing is, I never heard a word about anything before then. Oh, one time I just kind of casually asked about what his life was like before he came with up with you. I'll never forget his expression when I asked that. I'll never be able to. His eyes just sort of clouded over. It was like he was staring over a cell's long field of who knows what that only he could see. Afterwards, though, he just laughed it off and pretended it never happened while avoiding the question. I don't really know his history, but his leaving has something to do with his early life, doesn't it? Yeah, we're pretty sure it does. I knew it. Whenever we went to bed, we'd always talk about how the day went, right? How practice was going, for example, or how delicious lunch was, that sort of thing. Whenever we did that, he got this look, like he was looking at something bright and beautiful. It was the expression of someone looking at something they want and can't have. And at that same time, he just sort of seemed to accept that it was something he could never have. He never really lost that look the entire time he was here. It is something you can have, which I can get. Still, so yeah. I know I shouldn't really get involved since I don't know you two that well, but can I ask one favor of you? Just one? Huh? If you meet him again, don't ever let him have that kind of expression. He is an idiot, thinking he can't have that kind of life. He's got just as much of a right to love, laugh, and enjoy life as any of us do. Can you hear that for me? Hans. Yeah, of course I can. I'll wake him up to that fact even if I have to slap his cheeks beat red in the process. <laughs> it's still. It may take that to really get him to understand, but we'll do it. Oh crud, uh, sorry in advance, Jay. Hmm, mm, hope good to get that off my chest. He calls him Jay. Sorry, I shouldn't take up too much of your time. Good luck with your investigation. Yeah, thanks, Hans. Good luck to you too, Hans. You just, you just sick the tigers on him, bro. Yo, Chloe! Are you getting ready for club two? No, I'm afraid not. Unfortunately, I don't have time right now. I'm checking around the school for something. Huh? Checking for what? Well, you see, Estelle explained that they were looking at any strange item that might have occurred during exam. Strange events. Sorry, don't remember anything like that. I know there are weird rumors floating around, but I can't say I know the details. I see. Either way, thanks. We'll try someone else. I'm sorry I couldn't be more helpful. No worries. Thanks for your time. No problem. Alright, get everything up here. Dorothy, what are you doing? I'm taking beautiful pictures of the cafeteria. I got some really cute shots of the seafood jelly. It's so jiggly. Pretty good, huh? I don't know what I expected. Let's get some of that there young lady plate. investigation. We'll handle this part, so we'll leave the students to you. Oh, Chloe, did you have a question? No, actually. Yeah, is it about that thing Joe mentioned a bit ago? Something about searching for people who saw something suspicious or... 
Yes, I'm assisting in the investigation. It's good to go out and be a social once in a while. Good luck, your teacher's cheering for you. Yes, thank you very much. Oh, you're braces, aren't you? I have already been informed of your task. Please investigate freely. Strange events. It was no different than any other exam period. I was busy from morning till night studying. Finally! Finally, exams are over! Huh? What? Strange events during exams? No, I don't remember anything. Strange events during exam period? Sorry, weird stuff's not on my radar. I've only got my eye on cute stuff. Yeah. So, I don't remember seeing anything weird. Nope, nope. Uh, man, I'm hungry. Huh? You want something? Uh, yeah. Actually, we had a question. Like, did you see anything weird or hear any odd sounds? Anything you might have noticed would be helpful. Odd sounds. Just don't make me remember all that creepy stuff. Did you see something? Yeah, haven't actually told anyone before you guys, though. I saw someone suspicious. Really? Could you give us the details? Okay, sure. I was hanging out behind the schoolhouse on my way back home, right? It's a great place to chill during tests. No one's ever there. So, I was walking around near the rear gate on my way back. When this white floating person suddenly flew past. I'm sure it looked like a person. No way I could have seen it wrong. A white human form that matched with other witnesses have said. So what happened after that? He floated off towards the rear gate. After that, I didn't see him. I see, so he disappeared towards the rear gate. Yeah, this is good intel. I should write this down in my notebook. I agree, this is, about, this is valuable testimony. So, is that enough? I'm starving and I want to grab some food. <laughs> sorry, you're all good. Thanks for the help. Well, I'm not sure what's going on, but good luck or whatever. Peace out, Mick. Yes, odd events. No, sorry, nothing weird happened. You might have better luck with someone else. Take this, bro. Oh, Chloe, how'd your tests go? Oh, well enough, I guess. More importantly, Patrick, may we have a moment? Sure, what is it? Er, so actually... Strange events, you say? I do have something that might be along that line, sort of, but... It's fine if you don't know the exact details. Just tell us everything that happened at the time. Alright. Well, actually, I saw this humanoid form flying in the sky. Oh? Tell us everything you remember about that? Well, sure, it was on one of the exam nights. I had stayed behind in the classroom to study. I thought I noticed something move outside the window. I thought maybe the wind had picked up or something, so I went to close the window. When I saw this white, shadowy form floating outside. White, shadowy form. So what happened next? Unfortunately, I lost sight of it immediately. It sort of just disappeared toward the east. East of me disappeared toward the back of the schoolhouse, right? Yeah. Still, you remembered a lot of details. Well, it was quite an interesting phenomenon. I wrote some simple notes down thinking I'd research it later. Research? Patrick is a student of the sciences, after all. Aha, uh -huh, I see. Does I have any help? Immensely. Yeah, definitely. That was valuable testimony. I'll get that down in my notebook right away. Patrick, thank you. Not at all. It was a minor request. No, I had some stuff I had to do, so I was walking around the schoolhouse. Oh, what kind of stuff? So, actually, I still explained they were looking at any strange events. Huh, strange events. Um, I don't think there was anything. Nah, I'm sorry if I'm no help whatsoever. No, don't let it bother you. Well, let's go check with other people. Thanks, Rochelle. No problem. Hello, boy. Do you need something? Actually, yes. I'd like to ask you a question. Oh, what's up? So, strange events. No, there wasn't anything in particular. Sorry, I couldn't be a more help. Nah, no worries. Well, thanks for your time. If anything else comes up, let me know. Mm, you want something? Strange events during the exam period. No, I can't think of anything. Oh, do you need something? Odd events, huh? I don't think there was anything, no. Oh, 
Oh, this is the auditorium. <laughs> it's strange, isn't it? It was only a few months ago, and yet you can't help but reminisce. Yeah. A whole lot happened after that. Our calm, serene princess Joshua has left us. Now it's just us on stage. Having no supporting cast feels kind of strange, you know? It does. Say, Estelle, may I make a small confession? Uh, sure. I like Joshua. I mean, you know, um, affectionately. I was a bit attracted to him from the moment we met. What? I see. <laughs> I actually kind of figured. It always sort of seemed that way. That kiss scene at the end of the play, I, I won't deny, it sent my heart racing. I kept apologizing quietly to you even as I threw myself into the role. I was all set to really kiss him at the end, not just pretend. Really? You're a lot braver than I thought, Chloe. <laughs> Julia says I always do things that make her worry. But then when Merrick Almore pointed that gun at you as hell, Joshua's eyes. I've never seen eyes so full of murderous rage. And it was all because you're that important to him. That's when I gave up, because I realized I never had a chance against that. Um, I don't know. I think it might be a little too early for me to give up. I mean, honestly, Chloe, I can't hope to compare to you. Oh, Estelle, you're so silly when it comes to this sort of thing. You have really, you really have no idea just how charming you are. Man, I pay you a compliment and you poke fun at me? Come on, Chloe, I was serious. <laughs> That's just it. So was I. I love that about you, Estelle. Your open honesty. And I think Joshua feels the same way. I guess Joshua and I are alike. No, I did notice that, kind of. You're both smart, level-headed, polite. To be honest, I totally told Josh that you two would be great together because of that. Until I met everyone here, I was very lonely. I think in that sense, I was a little like Joshua before he met you. If there's a difference between us, it would be our strength. Your strength? Like how? Grandmother wishes very much to name me the next queen, especially after what happened to I guess it would be for the best, all things considered, but... If I become queen, I'll never be Chloe Rings again. I'll only be Her Majesty Queen Claudia Von Auslevs. I will be Claudia Von Auslevs forevermore, burdened with power and responsibility. I'd never again get to hug those orphans or talk to my friends casually or attend class. The very idea terrifies me. Yet, I feel so pathetic for not having the strength to return to that solitude when it's necessary. I still haven't given Grandmother a proper answer. Chloe, in that sense, Joshua is stronger than I could ever hope to be. I'm sure that he, more than anyone, didn't want to be separated from you. But even so, he disappeared so as not to involve you in what he felt was his own problem. Joshua's strong on some level, yeah. But I don't think that's the kind of strength you should admire. It's the role of a queen to rule a whole country. Of course you're hesitating. It's natural. Heck, what it'd really be worrying would be if you wanted to do it without hesitating, like Duna. Being worried and unsure about whether you'll be good and still trying anyway? That's why you'll be an amazing queen, Chloe. Estelle. But Joshua? Joshua didn't hesitate. He barely thought twice. He left me. Left us. Behind as if we were the most natural thing in the world. That, that's something I can't forgive him for. Why is the cute ones always the ones who don't understand or feel feelings? Especially the ones who are cuter than her. <laughs> I'm so glad, Prince Chloe. I don't have many people I can help with like this. <laughs> do I. Although, all we've been talking about are embarrassing things, really. Oh, um, please don't misunderstand me, though. I don't feel, um, that way about Joshua at all. Ah, uh, don't worry, it's okay. I kind of learned the hard way that love isn't something you should try to hold <laughs> I guess my dad would call us both a couple of different kids. Thank you, Estelle. Well, to be honest, if I said I didn't have any feelings left for him, I'd be lying. <laughs> but more than anything, I want to see you two happy together, and don't worry, I get it. Anyway, we've spent a bit too much time with girl talk, I think. Want to get back to interviewing the students? Yes, we should. Let's try to talk with everyone before nightfall.
Yeah, Joshua would have freaking ripped him all kinds of a new one. Like freaking just tore him up. How come no one ever told me? Whoa. I already said that I sent my vacation sightseeing across the world. Why am I being first returned return home now? Felicity, please calm yourself. No, I refuse. This time, I will say my piece. Um, tests are finally over. And I was finally starting to plan all the things I wanted to do for my vacation. So why has a return ticket to the Empire conveniently shown up at my doorstep now, of all times? You... You've been plotting against me with Grandfather, haven't you? Man, hard to get a more in answer this. Let's just see what happens. I truly believe it would be in your best interest to keep these complaints to yourself for now. They can only serve to make things worse. Excuse me? Excuse me? Have you forgotten your place? How dare you speak to your mistress in such a manner? Oops. Ha <laughs> pardon us. I did try to warn you. Ahem. Do you need something from me? Yeah, sorry to butt in while you're busy. We're in the middle of an investigation, you see. I see, you've come about that little incident. Reyna, please, that's enough. I can hardly better recall such horrors. Did something happen? Indeed. The fact that we saw what we saw would qualify as more than strange. It was a human form floating in the air. Ah. Reyna! Please tell me everything you saw in as much detail as possible. I would love to. I believe I can share enough information. Acceptable felicity. Ugh, fine. Do whatever you want. It was the night before exams. Very suddenly, Felicity said there was someone outside the window. Oh, joy of joys. This already sounds like the start of some ghost story. When I peeked out the window, I saw a human form floating above the schoolhouse, just as she said. It spun as if blown by the wind. Ugh. Eventually, it disappeared toward the back of the schoolhouse. And then came the worst part of all. My lady, being struck by fear, climbed into my bed and... Surely that part isn't relevant to the investigation, Reyna. Yeah, no need to be that specific. Oh, I see. I'll pay just so it's getting interesting, too. <laughs> anyway, to make a long story short, a human ship appeared in the sky above the schoolhouse, spun around, and vanished towards the back side of the schoolhouse. Yes, that's correct. Was that of any help? More than helpful. Thanks a lot. We couldn't have asked for a better testimony, really. Alright, I should jot this down in my notebook right away. Holy crap, it's late already. I think we've got just about everything we can from the student. Shall we head back to the student council room? Yeah, let's. With any luck, we can put together what we've learned with everyone else and figure out what's up. Hey, you're back. All right, everyone, report. Hit me in the face. Damn it. I don't want to hit you in the face, Jill. We talked to the entire staff, but practically all of them came up blank. Only ones who saw anything remotely weird was the candor. He saw a suspicious person who disappeared right at the gate of the old schoolhouse. My efforts failed to shine. However, I did cause several beautiful kittens to flock to the siren call of my little So you 
to accomplish literally nothing, like, at all. I mean, I wasn't expecting much, but come on. So that would leave me for last, I suppose. I looked over the records for any similar cases. Problem is, everything here is so new that there's nothing really in the way of ghost stories and whatnot. Anything remotely relevant centers around the old schoolhouse. In that case, that old ruin is suspicious no matter how you slice it. What's the deal with that shack anyway? It's the original Genesis building. It's been around for centuries as far as I know. The new campus was finished about 20 years ago. The school moved here and the old place has been closed off ever since. Wait, hang on, it's closed off? But I thought we popped in there during the school festival. Unfortunately, some of the very dangerous monsters that have been wandering around got in after we left. We had to leave it tightly locked and abandoned ever since. Oh my, a stone ruin dating back centuries. It strikes me as the perfect haunt for a ghost. Thanks, I hate for pointing that out. Well, I really don't want to go, but it's not like we have any other leads. It's getting pretty late, though, so how about we check it out tomorrow? Yeah? Why, Estelle, whatever makes it now a bad time, it doesn't seem that late. Or, well, you see, it's almost nightfall, and it might be dangerous with monsters and stuff. It'll be a bit of a challenge during the day, so I'd imagine it'd be stupidly dangerous at night. Ah, but is that not the point? The truly terrifying manifest is best under the light of the moon. If there is any time to grasp the true nature of our specter, it is now. Yeah, yeah! You gotta get ghost pictures at night! It's the law or something! The law in Looney Land, maybe. Huh? Estelle, what's wrong? I don't know. I thought I saw something outside the window. It was sort of a whitish shadow. Probably just Sieg. Hold on. A white shadow. Oh, yep, that's exactly who I think it is, or who I thought it was. Estelle, what's... Ah! Ha! Ha 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 ha! Hey! And there goes our club. Yeah. Estelle, wake up! Huh? Estelle, you're awake. Oh, thank goodness. How do you feel? Are you hurt? No, I think I'm okay. Wait, this is the girl's dorm, right? Why am I... Wait, I saw it! I saw the white shadow right out that window. And then it... So you really did see a ghost. Estelle, what did the white shadow look like? Well, it was a man dressed in old-fashioned clothes, like an opera getup or something, and wearing a mask. He danced in circles, and he was glowing. He flew off toward the old schoolhouse. Whoa, what a neat old ghost! I'm going to hazard a guess that this matches the description you've heard before, right? I figured the old schoolhouse would have something to do with this. Screw it! What? Huh? I don't know if it's a spook or a dude with an airship in his pants or whatever. If he's gonna run around looking crazy and scaring people and making them faint, I'm gonna beat him to a pulp runs it for all! Beat him to a pulp? Oh, Estelle, do ghosts make you angry and afraid and stuff? I was scared of ghosts because I wasn't sure if they existed or could rip my soul out or something. Now that I've seen one, I ain't afraid of no ghost, not at all. If I see it again, I'm going to polish my staff with its face. God damn. I'm not sure if this is courage or if she's gone off the deep end. <laughs> oh, Estelle. Alright, I got the key to the back gate from the teachers. So, me playing Trails of Cold Steel 1, 2, and 3 really ruined a lot of this. Like, I'm, I'm not supposed to know who that is. But, I know who that is. See the black gate key. Thanks, Hans. I'm glad you're fired up, but you sure you're okay? Of course I'm okay. Why wouldn't I be okay? What have I ever given the impression that ghosts paralyze me with fear? That's silly. We're gonna go into the schoolhouse, punch the ghost in the face, and drag him back to the guild. Uh, if you say so. <laughs> We're finally entering Estelle's element, it seems. Well then, let us begin our test of courage. The monsters may have taken root in the ruins, so only those skilled at the art of combat should enter. Good thinking, for once. The camera girl can come, but the others should stay behind. Yeah, I know, we'll leave everything to you big, tough fighting types. We'll be waiting here in case something happens. Um, Agate, may I accompany you? What? Uh, excuse me, princess? Is this a little dangerous for the possible heir to the world? 
The children at the orphanage have seen this whatever it is. I cannot simply let it be. I've also been inside the old schoolhouse on a few occasions. I think I may be able to help. Fine, okay. Of course, when I think about it, you're probably skilled enough to help us out anyway. What with how you went up against Richard at all. Just be careful and don't overdo it, okay? I'll be careful, I promise. Okay, then. Let's head to the old schoolhouse and catch us a ghost. Yeah! What do you got on top of you, Chloe? Got some good stuff. Make you go faster. Make you have instant kill magics. Punch us a ghost. That gate's locked. Use that key. <laughs> yep, as soon as people started describing what he was and who he was and how he was doing what he was doing, I knew exactly who it was. So, this is the old schoolhouse, huh? Now we're getting somewhere. I can feel my blood begin to sing with the terror of it all. <laughs> I'm getting goosebumps. Yeah, you two sure seem terrified, all right. Oh? What's up? Estelle, on the door. This is a card? Great. Let's see what's written on it. Oh, uninvited wanderers, welcome unto my transient abode. If you do not fear the curse of a thousand years, then hasten to join me. First curse is in the great room. The hollow flame shall guide me. Holy shit. Why? The card was engulfed in flame and burned away. What the hell? Oh, maybe it's spontaneous combustion. I've heard that happen with spooky poltergeists. Heh, <laughs> what a provocative little ghost we have. Attempting to riddle us, is he? Oh, it's on now! I'll teach him not to mess with real living people! Well, as long as you can keep the bravery up, we'll be okay. But the uh, hollow flame... But the hollow flame shall guide thee? What the hell does that mean? I'm willing to guess the great room is the big entry hall just beyond. We'll need to investigate it. Right, come on. Alright, let's beat some ass. Hollow flame. I guess you could think of a candlestick that way. It's the only one that isn't lit. Let me take a look. There was a card within the candlestick. The second curse is within the classroom. Seek the south-facing student. The card burst into flames. Wah! Well, at least the answer was right. So, a classroom this time. And a south-facing student in an empty school? If I remember correctly, there are four classrooms in total. In the left wing... If I remember correctly, there are four classrooms in total in the left wing. Two on each floor. Alright then, let's check them out and watch our compass.
All the other desks are messed up, but this one looks okay. And it's pointing exactly south, this is probably it. If we take a look, there's a part of the desk cavity. The third curse lies within the garden. Seek ye the fallen neck. Could I the flames? Yow! Well, that was right, at least. But where's the next one? The fallen neck in the garden. A metaphor, clearly, but for what? What a marvelous mystery. Well, I think I know exactly what's on that one. Fallen neck in the garden. This matches the requirements in a way. Yeah, this looks like it. Look. The stone planter held a card and an old key. Now thine curse is realized. Overcome the final trial and stand before me. Card burst into flames. Receive a rusted key. That's the end of the riddles, I think. I hope. I hope thine curse is realized. This is a metaphor, though. <laughs> Regardless, he wishes us to use the key. Let's find a lock, it might open. Possible openable lock shall be open. Is this a statue of a dragon? This statue's been here for as long as I can remember. Apparently, it's carved in the image of a dragon who used to reside in the pearl. Hmm, something's off about this. Let's see if there's any kind of trick here. Not a bad little plan. This is getting quite exhilarating. Yeah, someone's really trying to make this fun. If this was a touristy trap place, I bet it'd be a lot of guests. I get a lot of guests. But, you know, something about all this is weird, like beyond what you'd expect. Like those cards? Doesn't that seem weird for a ghost? Yeah, so it would seem difficult for an incorporeal spirit to do all this. Either way, we're up against 
that's something that isn't gonna go easy on us. Keep it together. We're going down. Oh, and this is the actual dungeon, huh? Oh, excuse me. Huh? Oh, hell, here we go. This is a death trap for someone like you. Go back to that room we were just in and wait for us. Oh, uh, but, 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 I wanted to get some awesome ghost pictures. Hey, don't worry, Dorothy. We'll come back and we find anything, okay? You can get your awesome pictures then, right? Well, if I gotta, be careful, okay, guys? Well then, let's move up. Keep an eye on the monsters. They're tough mothers, so let's only fight the ones we need to. Right. Of course.